guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and uh, if you're seeing something weird here, that's right. We have a new experiment we're starting today, and uh, I'm going to let you name the project. Uh, some like it hot, possibly um, sweet or spicy. Uh, put in the comments below after you finish watching this video, what do you want to name this experiment? So what I have here is my mushroom bin. And as you can tell, it's a little too wet to uh, sift or anything like that. I've just, I don't know, been lazy, have not gotten around to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a horizontal migration. But what we're going to do is we are going to do a either or. So I'm going to do a horizontal migration going this way and going this way. And what I'm going to do is I am going to pile all of this up in the center like so. And what I am going to do is I am going to put apple goo on one side and then I'm going to do something that I've never done before. I'm going to take the leavings from me making salsa and I'm going to put it on this side. So I'm going to see if the worms like it hot, sweet or spicy or you know or they could choose to stay right here in the middle don't know um, but the salsa contains garlic and onions uh, Anaheim peppers jalapeno peppers uh, and a whole bunch of other peppers that didn't have labels and I don't remember what they're called uh, it's re it's not super spicy there's no um, you know Thai scorpions or, or anything like that in there it's just you know regular salsa peppers so it's not ridiculously hot so before everybody freaks out they are just like jalapenos and Anaheim's so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up everything here in the middle and try and make a equal equal space here on both sides and I am going to put bedding and apple goo on one side and bedding and uh, salsa um, what came out of the extruder from making salsa on the other side and let's see do they just go over to the apples do they just go over to the salsa uh, leave in your comments below what you think is going to happen or or not happen okay so let's get started first I'm gonna start out with um, a good helping of my prepared bedding on both sides maybe not that good okay and then I'm going to get them some apple goo and some salsa goo. Okay, first things first, take a look at the salsa goo. This comes out of my um, KitchenAid. I've got a, a saucer kind of a thing. It makes sauce, it extrudes it through a little wire screen. And so what you're seeing here is tomatoes and peppers and ginger and uh, garlic and onions and that's what that is in there. So uh, because I'm smart and I don't play with peppers with bare hands, that is why we have the gloves on. So I'm going to put that in here. I'm not really sure how much that is. I did not measure it, but it's less than a normal feeding for a bin this size. But I can smell the peppers right now. I can totally smell this. And then I'm going to cover it up with bedding. And then we're going to get that side some apple goo. Okay, we're going to call that maybe a little half a gallon. There's probably a, a pound and a half, two pounds of worms in here. Um, so this is just ye olde apple goo. Um, went through the juicer um, before I was making wine or when I was making wine. So this is what that is going to be. And again, prepared bedding on the top. This has been resting for a couple weeks. And then there we go. So we have yield uh, what previously was the mushroom experiment which is now going to be the mystery experiment so if you like the video give it a muddy thumbs up um, I did get dirty to begin with I did get my nails dirty and everything beforehand just so you know um, when I picked out all the big food from in here so again if you like the video give it a muddy thumbs up if you're not a member of my worm family click that subscribe button and if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it ring that bell icon Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody have a good day.